Um, so the next pattern that I want to talk to you about is um, the whites. And the white sheep is not an actual color. It's a pattern and it covers up what other pattern they have. So they look like an ordinary white sheep, but they're not white, really. I mean, they are, but they also have a pattern underneath. And it's really fun to see what babies they have because then you kind of figure out what the mother is under her white. It's always kind of like Christmas morning with the white ones and the ones that are spotted. We'll talk about the spotted ones in a minute. Um, but to show you what a white Icelandic looks like, we have a couple right here. So this one with her face nibbling on the gate, that's Monica. And we have a couple white sheep over here. Can't see them very well because they're behind two different gates. One of them is Hermione and one of them is Miss Piggy. And so white is actually the most dominant uh, pattern. And uh, the reason that is, is because half of all of a white sheep's baby, whether it's a ram or a ewe, it doesn't matter. Half of their babies will be white for their entire life. Isn't that fascinating? And yeah, they just, they're really interesting. And the white ones can actually have subtle differences in their coloring too, which I always find is a little bit interesting. The next pattern that I want to talk about is the gray. And I already showed you um, Jolene, and uh, she's a mouflon gray, like I mentioned. The gray, this is interesting, is very rarely expressed on its own. Most of the time, it is expressed with another pattern. In Jolene's case, it was a mouflon. You can have it expressed with a badger or with a solid. Um, it can be underneath a white sheep's uh, pattern. The other pattern could be gray. Um, it is so uncommon to have gray expressed by itself, to have a double gray, that on our farm for 12 years we have had only one that i can remember that was a double gray he was born last year and poor thing he passed away may he rest in peace but he was very unique and probably we have only had maybe three or four that were double grays it is that uncommon to get a copy of gray from each parent. Usually, if the parents have another pattern besides gray, they will pass that. It's They can pass the gray, but it's uncommon that both parents will pass it. Very uncommon. Usually, it is expressed with another pattern, which I find very, very fascinating. That's probably the most interesting pattern that you can have is the gray. And the last combination that I want to talk about, it's not really a separate pattern because it's two separate patterns combined into one sheet, but it's very interesting and I thought I would talk about this one as well, is a badger mouflon. Yes, they can be co-expressed together and it's a very interesting combination what they look like. If you go on the internet and you look up a badger mouflon, they always look like a completely single colored sheep, usually black or mouflon, or I'm sorry, moret. And they'll have a single um, color of cream kind of along the trim of their belly and a little bit on their legs and a little bit of cream over their eyes what i like to call eyebrows but they're not really their eyebrows um but with ours it took us a while to figure out what they were they looked like badgers but they had the cream belly of a mouflon and we eventually figured out by breeding one of these special sheep to a ram that was <laughs> Uh, I 
I think he was the father to her, or maybe it was one of his sons. Either way, we bred her to a ram that was a mouflon, and she had a baby that was mouflon, and she had a baby that was badger. And to show you kind of what they look like, and she looks, she's the horned one here. She looks like a badger. She just looks a little bit lighter than a badger face in the face and legs. But she's not gray. She's a badger mouflon. Isn't that really fascinating? We have this weird mutation that I've never seen on the internet instead of what they're supposed to look like, which is entirely like black or more. I don't know how that happened, but it did.